proclaim by joy to sound, and let it be found, proclaim to the ends of the earth. The Lord has freed his people. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. We continue praying for the end of coronavirus. We continue praying for the courage for our friends, our families, our state, and for the intentions we have, we bring them to the Lord. Let us call to mind our saints as we celebrate the Eucharist. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heaven and King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relate in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs, and he was doing it, for unclean spirits cried out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was a great joy in that city. Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid, they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord. Then speak to God. The response is, Alleluia. Alleluia. Shout gratefully to God, all the earth, sing praise to the glory of his name, proclaim his glorious praise, say to God how tremendous are you did. Alleluia. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you, sing praise to your name, come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Alleluia. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Alleluia. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me, not my prayer or his kindness. Alleluia. A second reading from a reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved. Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence. Keeping your conscience clear so that when you are mine, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. But it is better to suffer for doing good if that be 
the will of God than for doing the evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the rightness for the sake of our riches, that he might lead you to God. Put to death into the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Then we speak to God. according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I'll ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of Truth, whom the, the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains in you, and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live, and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me, and whoever loves me will be loved by my Father. And I love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. So, sorry for touching my eyes, but I can't. <laughs> sanitize my fingers. So, today we visit Samaria. This place of Samaria is amazing. Uh, it was there that Jesus once went through with his apostles and he raised at the well of Jacob. And the famous Samaritan woman came and Jesus asking her for water, but it ended up that she is the one who needed water from Jesus, the living water, the Holy Spirit, the new life. The other story, uh, there are so many stories about Samaria, but there is another story uh, which is a continuation of the Acts of the Apostles because it was written by uh, St. Luke. That was say uh, St. Luke chapter 9, verse uh, 54. When Jesus walked past through Samaria and they do not accept him because he is going to Jerusalem. If you are going to Jerusalem, not here. You can go through Egypt or Syria or uh, Mediterranean Sea, not here. <laughs> or West Bank, Jordan not Samaria. So, and the apostles were upset. Two of them, John and James, asked Jesus, now, you are God, we already know that you have powers. These people don't want you to pass through their land. Why can't we ask fire from heaven and we burn them? We burn them all, like how God did to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Jesus tells them, no, slow down, man. 
I have power but not to destroy people. I did not come to destroy people but to save. And Jesus is patient. He even tells that, that uh, story of uh, somebody growing uh, vine and it is not producing. Should I, we cut it? No. Go and uh, give me a chance and water it. Put fertilizer around it. And we try it once more. And so we hear years later, Jesus has died, has risen, sent the Holy Spirit. The apostles, Christians, were expelled from Jerusalem and they are going everywhere. And Philip, uh, he made uh, different stops. And one of the stops is in Samaria. He is there. He starts preaching and they understand the world. And he has the power of Jesus, of God. He is curing the sick. There are people with their demons. He is preparing. And people start enjoying this message. They are so happy they came to believe. Now, mentioning fire, there is a fire which is called the fire of the Holy Spirit. And that is what we receive during confirmation. The catechist preaches to us. The priest or the deacon baptizes us. And then the bishop comes and gives us confirmation. Be sealed with the sign of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit. We are told, the Lord be with you. So they are confirmed. And this is what now happens to this beautiful community of Samaria, where the apostles are called, and guess who is called? John, the one who wanted to burn those people, and Peter. And they went and confirmed them. Yes, there is a fire that burns, but not burning people, not destroying people or buildings or this world. No, the fire that burns away evil, sin. And then you are liberated, and that is the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit who is with us, who is with us. With Jesus, when he was leaving, and soon we are going to celebrate uh, Ascension Thursday, when Jesus was leaving this world, he said, he is here with us. Remain in my love. I'll ask the Father, I'll, and he will send you the advocate, the paraclete, the one who will be with you to teach you everything. And we know that that's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Jesus sent and his Father, the Holy Spirit, and now, those who lived in darkness, those who could not understand the difficult teachings, now can understand and go and represent that message to others. And that day, 3,000 people are baptized. And that message has continued to our day. For all those who come to know Jesus, who believe, who get baptized, they also sent into a mission like Philip, go and preach to the others. And then St. Peter, in the second reading, who was the first pope, he is giving advice, counsel, to those people who go representing Jesus. When you become a Christian, people start looking you, looking at you in two ways. What is he doing? What did he do? What did he say? If you are saying the right things, they believe you. If you are doing the right things, they believe you. If not, then you scandalize them. And St. Peter is saying people are going to talk about you. Even when you are doing the right thing, that is not your problem. Always keep God that you are not doing evil, you are not living sinful life, 
you are not uh, living a bad life, you are living according to the Spirit, to your call, to your baptism, to commitment of Christ, love of God, love of neighbor, truth, and then when they talk bad about you, they might even punish you. St. Peter tells you, that's good to be punished for the sake of righteousness. And even elsewhere he says, it is better uh, when you're punished uh, because uh, of something you don't do that has made it when you suffer for something you didn't do. But if you're punished for something you already did, then what merit does that have? So, we are called to follow the Lord, to represent Him, to a life of commitment, joy, happiness, and let us not keep it to ourselves. Let us share that with others. And they will be scrutinizing to see whether what we are telling them we are convinced ourselves. And then the community of God continues being strengthened, growing, if of being burnt by the Holy Spirit, new life coming up. Let us confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not man, consubstantial in the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was his garment of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake was crucified at a conscious pilot. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and its kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, that I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to God to hear our supplications. Always in that midst of our church and college community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve our church as bishops, priests, deacons, and ministers may reveal the love of God and their humble and dedicated service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the nations and peoples of the earth may recognize and accept the power collect of justice, of justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, young family. That families experiencing pain and difficult times may rediscover God's spirit of love in, in their midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, young prayer. That the sick, the suffering, and the troubled may rejoice in the healing presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, young prayer. That the risen Christ will gather before the Father the souls of the of people who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, young prayer. That the God of mercy will hear the praise we now offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, accept our prayers and petitions through Christ our Lord.
Let's say that you don't gather for creation or through your goodness we have received the bread we offering each other's gave and human hands of me to become our bread of life. Thanks be God forever. Blessed that you don't gather for creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our special friends. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. Amen. Let us pray. May our prayer rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offering, so that, purified by your righteousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of our fourth love, you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought this sacrif the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commanding himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the past of joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, saying together the unending aim of your glory as their claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth of your glory, for Sana in the highest. Blessed we come in the name of the Lord, for Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right here gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you gave life to all things that make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be gathered, offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, gracious and make holy this gift we have brought you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose ended, he took the chance, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chance to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. faith, when we take bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, 
until you come again. We enforce, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer him thanksgiving, this holy and living sacrifice. Look with prayer upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, that bound the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the plant and the entire people, you have gained for your own place and graciously the prayers of this family have summoned before you, in your compassion, O Master Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this world, their kindred made unto their kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that <coughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and virtues we grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, forever and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Of the Spirit. Love of God. And take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I want to ask that we should enter the my roof, but when we say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. 